Hey everybody, Subtag here, and today we're going to start working on, on these cabinets back here. I bet they look white to you. Well, believe me, they're really not white, and we're going to redo them. Let me explain why. Alright, so what you see here is the results of a product from Rust-Oleum called Cabinet Restorations. It comes in a little box. It's got three or four different coatings of stuff to put on there. The first one is supposed to clean up the uh, original coloring on the cabinets. It's called the deglosser. It takes stuff off that you're, so then you're able to paint the color on. And then after the color goes on, you're supposed to be able to put on something else that like seals it up. All right, and this kit costs about $75 from Home Depot. Now we went and got the kit, and as I went about doing, taking care of the bathroom floor upstairs, Mrs. Subtag, she got to work. My, <laughs> my dishwasher's making noise down here. Anyway, she got to work on the cabinets. She did all the glossing, then she started painting. And she kept complaining about you know the brush marks not working and, and, and you know you can see the brush marks it's not painting on there well and I was thinking okay well and she just hasn't got to hang a painting I'll come in and try to do it so I started doing some of it and I got a little bit better coverage but still even on a second coat it wasn't getting coverage right and then we also noticed that it was starting to peel in different places so a lot of factors here that just weren't working so our plan was to go back into Home Depot, get some better stuff to do it, you know, sand it off and get going on it. And we've been in there a couple times talking to them about it, uh, talk because we wanted to add a different color to do some kind of cool stuff on it and add some detail. So we've been in there a couple times trying to figure out what would be the best paint to put on with the stuff that we got. As time progressed, we just decided that this is not going to work. We need to completely redo it. So we decided to cut our losses. We went in there and started looking for the right stuff. And we're in there. We're talking to uh, the gentleman behind the counter. Now, there's two guys in there that's worked with us quite a bit. And they're very knowledgeable. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing. One was Lionel. And the other one was Dale. And we started explaining what was going on. And that we're, you know, we're here. We're looking for some new stuff. We're going to try again. Well, first thing they said was, we'll bring it back and we'll replace you know we'll refund it and we kind of thought well since we'd already broke into it and used most of it that they would not do that they said no no bring it in we'll refund it if that wasn't enough they said we'll set you up and they and they put us together with a bunch of paint we'd already had brushes and some rollers and stuff like that they got us the stuff we needed wrote no charge on there and sent us out the door now that was unbelievable because we just went in there expecting to you know cut our losses on the 75 and buy some more and and what they did was they totally refunded us and then gave us back more for free so i got to do a shout out to the smyrna home depot to dale and lionel those guys rock they're awesome they fixed us up so this is what we're going to do now we're going to sand and i don't need to take it all off i just need to knock it down and make it smooth again then we're gonna put just primer on there and according to Dale this will lock everything on so you won't have any peeling or whatever and then this is the white color that we're putting on there it's a stain blocker the whole bit and then uh, they also have got another color that I'm going to add to this and, and I kind of want to do it before I talk about it just because I think it's gonna be cool all right so time to start sanding let's get to it Yep, this is going to take a while. Then it would take a while if we had more cabinets. We've got enough. Alright, I think it's time to put a little power, a little automated elbow grease into this process. I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier, because this is such a fun tool. So 
So the fun tool goes faster, but there's still a lot to do. And it just keeps on going. More and more. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not. How well you can see it, but there was a lot of cooling here on these. And I've reshaped them so that uh, when I come back to it, it should cover it and not, and you won't know that it pulled right there. But uh, the goal wasn't to take all the paint off. The goal was to smooth it down so you didn't see uh, brush marks and stuff like that. I've got a little bit left to do right here, and then I'm gonna move on to that one. <sighs> like I said, loads and loads and loads of fun. Okay, so I've actually warped into the next day, which means it's Valentine's Day. Sadly, Mrs. Subtag had to go into work. Um, the type of job she has requires certain days of the month that she has to be there. And whether it falls on a holiday or a weekend, and this is one of them. So I decided to, rather than moving on to the next cabinet and sanding, I'm gonna start painting the one that I just finished and see how that turns out. So let's go through that process and, and get it done. I may have to let the cat out first. You wanna go outside, kitty? Wanna go outside, kitty? Huh? Wanna go outside, kitty, kitty? No? Come on, here you go. Will she go? She steps out and yes, she continues on. It's been so cold out that she wants to go out she'll sit there and cry you open the door she steps out but she doesn't have her full body out yet she's you know keeping you from shutting the door she stands there and assesses the situation says uh-uh turns around come back in so i was kind of surprised she actually went out this time i guess she's really really needing to get back into the wild anyways let's get to it all right the first thing we want to do is tape off around the cabinet so we don't paint on the walls. I can't stress the importance of that because it just messes up your walls. What else can I say? Okay, and it allows you to be more freely with uh, running your brush and stuff too because so you're, you're not worried about hitting the walls so you can be more free with the brush and make sure that uh, you get the strokes right, blah, 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 blah. I'm actually going to use a roller for a lot of this and it allows you to kind of butt up against the wall and get more uh, coverage. So let's get to it. Now if you go to Home Depot and you're looking for tape, for painter's tape, there's a stuff that's they call blue, and then they have different colors for the blue that code its, its usage. If you want to be able to tape over, ta tape over existing paint without pulling it back up, the blue tape with the orange label is supposedly the best but be careful and do not press it on hard so that you're really sticking it to the wall because I've still had it pull paint up so just be very careful and when you do pull it back off pull it off slowly and carefully So what I am trying to do here is kind of shape the tape around the curves and uh, shape of, of this tr uh, molding. And uh, it ain't as easy as it looks, but just do it carefully. All right, time to do the other side. I just did the other side. Primer. Empty cat food bag. I bet you was wondering what I was going to do with a freaking cat food bag. I got one of these at Home Depot. I actually got three of them. You're supposed to be able to connect, attach them to the ring or to the, the lip of the paint can. Size doesn't matter. It fits all. And then, obviously, if it works, it keeps the drippage down, the paint getting all in the lip, uh, makes it easier to seal the can back up. I'm going to try it, and hopefully it works. Let's get to it. So I don't know if you can see it, but stamped on there it says start here, push down on inner edge of rim with thumbs. So <laughs> let's see how this works. Start here, push down. Yeah, that's working pretty good actually.
Okay, here goes the true test. And there you have it. Maybe just a little bit to wipe up on the edge there. Because it does still kind of come over the edge. There you go. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, well let's see if we can paint and uh, move on. Okay, I'm going to start with the edging first. And that's the best way to do it because you can get that all taken care of. And then you can kind of work freely with your roller. So I'm going to paint brush the edging and stuff first. And around the edges that will be hard to get to with a roller. primed we haven't covered you know some of the the all cherry is still coming through but that primer will uh, help the white when we put it on there to cover it and of course uh, we're gonna get some special treatment on it too but that's how it stands so far I'm probably just gonna leave this primer on it for now and move on to sanding the rest of them uh, because I don't want to put the primer drives about an hour, so that's fine. But I don't want to put a coat of white on there and then start sanding and have dust flying all around. So I'm going to go ahead and start sanding on some of the other ones to get that taken care of. And then when we get down to where we can prime some of these other ones because we're sanded, I can also put a coat of white on this one. I'm going to get to that. I'm probably going to end that video, this video here. And uh, we'll, the next video, we'll see some more stuff going on. So I do appreciate you coming by. I do appreciate you watching. Um, you know, please subscribe, like, comment. I, I, I love reading the comments. I can't answer everything because, I mean, there's just so much there. But I try. So, show me some loving, folks. <laughs> this is Subtag. I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Hey, everybody, Subtag here today. We're gonna do stuff. Cause we got stuff to do. But first, we gotta go to the dump. And well. I guess technically that's stuff too, so that's the first stuff we're going to do. <laughs> Let's get to it. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so it is now 10 minutes till 8. I've been at this. I woke up at 5.30. No. Yeah, I woke up at 5.30. Had me a little wake up time. And then started doing all the stuff I got to do to get ready here. So today, hopefully I can get the last side covered with, with the frame or the walls. I don't know, I need to bug out a little early so I can get everything cleaned up before dark and get out of here. But 